What is going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of Rise of Civilizations. All right, so we're going to do a commander guide, and can you guys guess which one I'm going to use? I bet you can't. I bet you can't. All right, so we're going to go in order here. We're going to go with the ones on the very bottom here. We have one called Dragon Lancer. All right, so this guy is very underwhelmed. All right, so Dragon Lancer, guys. Yes, I said Dragon Lancer. All right, so this guy is an advanced commander because uh, you have different types. You have legendary, epic, elite, and then advanced. So this is pretty much the one that you're going to get a lot of if you do your uh, chest and stuff like that. It's not a bad commander, guys. He's not bad nonetheless. All right. He's just not very used very much by many people. But like I said, when the update comes out sometime in the near future, <clears throat> they're going to probably revamp a lot of these commanders and you guys are going to wish that you guys leveled them up. <clears throat> but that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting my commanders all leveled up, and then we can go from there. All right, so this guy is Calvary, Versatility, and Mobility. All right, so I had just pretty much unlocked them not too long ago. I may have had him for probably a couple weeks. I haven't really used him as much. All right, so he has, for his uh, skills, he's got Deterrent. <clears throat> all right, so Rage uh, requirement is 1,000. Woo! All right, so he deals direct damage. Damage factor 60 to a single target. Then deals additional damage to um, the target. Damage factor 60. Each second for the next two seconds. Alright, so direct damage. To the next one. Next time after that, the upgrade. It's going to be 75. And additional damage factor 75 once again. Alright, so that's a pretty good skill. I think he, they should have made this guy more of an area of effect um, commander, I think. Um, for the second skill, he's got fine horse. Uh, increases March speed of cavalry units by 2%. And upgrade preview. Of course, cavalry March speed by 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10, of course, respectively. And the next skill after that is going to be Lance of Freedom. All right, it's a passive skill. Increases attack of cavalry units by 1%. And upgrade preview. Cavalry attack bonus 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5%, respectively. And his last skill, which is Metal Armor. Increases defense of cavalry units by 5%. Alright, so, or actually 1%, sorry. And that's what he has there. Alright, so now for his talents. Of course, cavalry, versatility, and mobility. Um, if I were just first glance looking at this guy, um, I'm not sure if I would put this guy in the, in the front. Um, honestly, I don't know. You could probably put him up with like one of the other, other uh, cavalry guys like Minamoto, Cow Cow, or Sao Sao, sorry. Pelagius and Lancelot. You can pair him up with one of those guys. And I think that he would probably be more towards the secondary. Now, if you could use this guy more towards secondary, you can either go, uh, go two different routes. I think versatility is more like player versus player or sieging the uh, castles, I think. Um, yeah, because it has a marionette. Which reduces the damage taken from watchtowers by 3% when attacking other cities. So that's pretty much player versus player right there. That's not a bad... Versatility is pretty good. It has some pretty good ones like gathering speed bonus of troops by 5%. You can enhance that. Um, nowhere to run. Or actually nowhere to turn. When the commander is serving as garrison commander. Grants an additional 2% rage every time the city is attacked. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Versatility. I never really put points much into cavalry. Um... So actually, wait a minute. I think I do. Let me see. I, I think I put points for Calvary for uh, Pelagus. And that's on one of my lower level accounts. Um, now, for this, since this guy is more of a secondary commander, and your skills don't really matter anyway. Actually, no. Your talent, whatever it is. Ah, I, I get it mixed up. Well, mobility is where I would go, more than likely, because I can enhance the speed and stuff like that. All right, so <clears throat> with the first spot here, you have March Speed. For all troops, increase uh, march speed for all tr units led by this commander by 3%. And then you have increase attack of all units led by this commander by half a percent. And then reduce skill damage taken by uh, 3%. That's actually really good, honestly. Increases attack of units led by this commander by half a percent. When a troop led by this commander is are attacked by an active skill. 
increase march speed by five percent and the next five se for the next five seconds and that's pretty cool i mean i don't know i've never seen this in action so if you guys do know please let me know in the comments down below um this is definitely a people helping people community with this game for sure um they have electricity troops led this command by this commander have 10 percent chance to resist enemy slow effects that's pretty cool i mean if they, if they, if they use like uh, you can reduce the skill damage you can reduce the slow effects all of the little things like that, bleed effect, whatever the, ca the case might be. That's actually pretty cool. Um, they have attack, which is a buff. Increase the attack of all units led by this commander by half percent. And then, oh, sorry, that's electricity. Time management, increase march speed of all troops by 2% when not in combat, but decreases march speed by 2% while in combat. Honestly, I don't know why would you would why you would why actually want march speed in combat anyway. Unless you, I guess maybe if you're going... On the expedition, I think you could probably use it for that. Possibly, um, there's triumphant march when enemies led by this. Well, I can't even talk to the guys. Uh, when enemies led by this commander uh, defeat an army belonging to another governor, increase march speed by five percent for the next ten seconds. That's pr that's kind of good whenever you're uh, trying to get away, I guess. When you, everybody realizes, oh crap, he attacked us. All right, so you have hasty departure. Uh, when troops led by this commander depart from a structure, increases march speed by 20% for the next 10 seconds. That's actually really good. Now, that's one of those things where, let me see, what was it to say? When troops led the commander depart from a structure. So, all you would have to do is go to a structure, and then you're going to get that 20% that, uh, speed bonus for 10 seconds each and every time. That's that's kind of like, that's kind of like, uh, that's kind of broken, <laughs> honestly. Um, increased counterattack damage but dealt by... 0.5%. Uh, that's actually really good, guys. Honestly. That's pretty good. I'm more of a mobility. Since this is a secondary commander, mobility is going to be better anyway. So I would go that route. Unless you just want to put a couple points in cavalry, which uh, they have march speed. Um, pretty much all the cavalrys have the same thing. So it's not like anything's different. Um, increase march speed by cavalry by uh, units by 3%. That's, that's good. That's only cavalry units, though. I don't use cavalry units like that. Uh, increases health cavalry units by 1%. I use infantry more than likely than anything else. Let's see. Galia. Galia. Uh, increase. Oh man, it's in a way. Increase health of cavalry units by 1%. Increase march speed of cavalry by 3%. Crestial essence or excellence. Normal troop attacks have 10% chance to increase march speed by 5% for the next two seconds. All right, so reduce skill damage taken by 3%. Increase all damage dealt by 3% during the next 10 seconds after entering battle. And normal troop attacks have 10% chance to reduce enemy attack by 5% for the next 2 seconds. And Halberd. Cavalry units led by this commander deal an additional 3% damage to archer units. I like that. Increase normal attack damage um, of all troops led by this commander by half percent. And normal attacks grant an additional three rage. So that's pretty cool. Anything that has extra, any normal attack gives you more rage. You can't go wrong with that. So if you're going to do like range plundering and other things like that, you can't go wrong. Now, I'm not going to use my my tomes of knowledge on this guy, of course. He's not like a main main character that I use. You can see who I use a lot up on the top, basically. But <clears throat> when this update comes out, guys, <clears throat> excuse me, they're going to revamp this game. More than likely, more than what you guys know. So we can go ahead and go to these little cookie cutter molds and everything else like that. But it's going to change. The skill tree is going to change again, guys. It's going to. It's inevitable. So let's go for an attack here. Now, I think I could probably take this yeah, level 12. Not Tomei, but Dragon Lancer. That's who we're talking about today. <laughs> All right, so he says he's always ready. Let's see if he can actually take these level 12s out. And he has like no skill points, so he is bare naked, bare bones, Dragon Lancer. He's not doing too bad against level 12. But I know it's not all about him. <clears throat> we can also do some chaining here, but I'm not going to do that. I'll chain it next time. Send him back out there again. And he's got some, uh, he's got a skill point there. <clears throat> All right, 
so that's cool. So we're wasting action points, I think. But it's all good, though, guys. You gotta get these guys leveled up. Like I would always, I said in the previous video, you wanna at least try to get your guys level. Um, I'm gonna say 20. Get all of your all of your commanders up to level 20 if you can, if it's at all possible. Get them to level 20. Oh crap, <clears throat> I missed out on that one. But let's see how much experience he's getting by himself. All right, so he's getting 1,300 experience by himself. And we're gonna put him up with Lohar. Uh, yeah, let's see, level 12. Let's put him with Lohar. War? War is just a bigger, better game. And we're not gonna put that many troops in there either. All right, Dragon Lancer. Let's see how much more experience you get. And honestly, I think, I mean, you can pair him up with Boudica and all these other guys. Look how fast they march. But I think Lohar, out of all of them, has the best, um, gives the most, uh, the best experience, I, I think. That's just my personal opinion there. From my own personal experience. From what I've seen in the game. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a chain barbarian farming here. Because <clears throat> I hate when I have to go back to town. So let's see how much experience we got from this one guy. Alright, so let me see. Battle at level 12. Alright, so we got an extra 300,000 experience. Not bad. So 300,000 experience, that just, uh, it adds up. It stacks. You can't go wrong with that, guys. So yeah, I'm, I could deal with that. I could F with that one. Yeah. Alright, so there we go. He's marching all in there right there now, guys. Marching. All right, so what I'm going to do... I didn't even realize I had Sarka level 20. I'm getting all my guys level 20. Yeah, it's working out, too. I'm going to get Tomei 20 next. She's, like, my main focus. All right, so he has five talents. And like I was saying, I was going to put more into... Let me see. The first one here, March Speed of Cavalry Units. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not biased to a specific unit. Increase attack units. Maybe that. Increase march speed of all units. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Since we have five, let's increase health. I don't like health. Attack. Now, wait a minute. I think I want to go with that. Go that way. Let's go that route. Hopefully, they can give us some um stuff to uh, reset our, our talents here because i know i need to reset my talents like crazy especially Boudica. all right so counter attack damage dealt by one percent all right so that's good so once we get attacked we're gonna be able to do the uh counter attack have more damage there which is great all right so he's still marching or they're still marching 10 more seconds all right so that's gonna be just that it's not like this is a hard thing um to do but you just have to pick a commander you like to use, guys, and go with it. But honestly, I would rather, I would honestly level your other guys up if you have. Not just leave level 1, level 10, or anything like that. I would go to 20. Because that's like almost half the battle of the, uh, the leveling process. Alright, so these guys are cleaning up shop right now. And they're doing some pretty good things here. Alright, nice. And, you know, I see people on this server, they're leaving, and everybody's like, oh, I'm going to go to this other new server. But that's that's fine. Kind of breaks up the, uh... That's the alliances, I guess. I don't know. I'll just do this. Since we're already here, let's go ahead and just march right there. It's not really going to... It's not going to hurt anything just to do a chain barbarian farm right there. That's level 12, level 12, level 13. Of course, we can fight up to level 18, but I'm going to go with the low-level low ones and not go too much into anything else. All right, so we also have our uh, expeditions, which I've been sleeping on, guys. Well, actually, not really sleeping on this, but I've been trying to get this down, but I can't get level 33, 35, 36, uh, three-starred. I can't do it. It's kind of rough. I think I have to level my commanders up a little bit more, and then I can go from there. I just haven't tried today. I will try. Commander of the Week. Pelagus, ew, ew, Pelagius. All right, so we also have Sun Tzu here in the uh, the sculptures, which is cool. But I already have a bunch of Sun Tzu. I already have Sun Tzu already. Yep, 
you to upgrade skill level of this commander or star level of the commander. Yeah, we need to get some skill level. So Sun Tzu, well, I mean, yeah. That's a that's that's a well worth it uh thing there to use. Sun Tzu is the best, man. He's a beast. We got Boudica. Same thing with her, man. She's a beast. Tomoe. She's a beast as well. But I don't think I'm gonna spend any more things on on these guys. Yeah, Starlights. Dazzling Starlight Sculptures, yeah. Those are all good. Put your points where you want to put them, guys. doesn't really matter. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys are using Dragon Lancer. If you guys are using Dragon Lancer, put that in the comments below. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you have not, guys. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.